morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, uh, about five o'clock here in Tennessee. I'm on 840, fixing to come up on 40. Uh, I got a load of chicken going to Fontana, California. Fontana is right there in the L.A. area, so it's never, never fun. We picked up a a loaded trailer, and I don't know if it's got load locks on it. So load locks hold the load in tight, and uh, so I'm taking it real easy. I'm on 840. It's 840, pretty rough road. Uh, but anyway, I want to talk to you a minute about Luke. Uh, chapter 9 and verse 54 where James and John and I think Peter was with them too uh, said Lord do, would you want us to uh, call down fire out of heaven I'm paraphrasing and uh, destroy these people <clears throat> so they were like Jonah remember Jonah he went into Nineveh he didn't really give them any way out. He just said, you're going to die in 40 days. You're going to perish. But then they repented. Well, J Peter, James, and John, and Elijah called fire down from heaven. Peter, James, and John, by this point, uh, had been out preaching and everything. And they knew that, uh, that, Jesus had the power to do that so they wanted to destroy these people and Jesus said uh, you don't know what spirit you're talking about and I'm again I'm not, I, I'm not quoting the King James I'm just paraphrasing and he said you don't know what spirit you're of he said I didn't come to destroy men but to save them I just wanted to talk a minute about forgiveness. Forgiveness at the cross. Say you messed up. Listen, folks, I've been uh, saved over 35 years. And uh, to my shame, I have done worse things since I've been saved than I ever did even before. I backslid. I am the prodigal son. I ran off to the city lost everything uh, I've been down in the gutter and uh, praise God finally I came back home to the father but I understand the prodigal son if you've made an error if you sinned it's not you're still saved and there's forgiveness at the cross Jesus is not going to cast down fire on your head. He came to save sinners. If you're righteous, you're not even qualified to be saved. He said, I came not for the righteous, but for the sinners may come to repentance. So you might have made a mistake. You might have fallen short. You might have done something stupid. There's always forgiveness at the cross. The Bible says that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now you got to take Him at His word. A lot of times I did things and I felt so guilty about it and I felt guilty and I confessed it and I felt guilty about it and it... Uh, would come back to haunt me and finally you just got to get to the point do you believe what God said he said if you'll confess it he'll forgive it he'll cleanse you from all unrighteousness he'll bring you right back into the fold put you right back where you need to be now trust me folks there is a sin unto death uh, and the Bible says I, pr I say you don't pray for it oh, I gotta slow down I'm acting like I got eggs back there but I don't want to toss this chicken it's Popeye's chicken and it's Fontana California so they're probably going to be real critical on it but anyway I just want to let you know that once you're saved it doesn't mean you're not going to make errors 
doesn't mean that you're not going to make mistakes. Now, a lot of Christians, a lot of immature Christians, they'll just condemn you right off. I don't say to confess it to any man, don't confess it to any priest, but if you made a mistake, confess it to your Lord Jesus Christ, and He will forgive you. He's not going to cast down fire on your head. He came to save you, not to destroy you. He loves you. He's there uh, as our advocate to the Father. So if uh, you slip up, you mess up, you make a mistake, it is not the end of the world. Now, if you keep running away from God like I did for years, and you keep going down that road, He's going to chasten you. He said, whom he loves, he chastens. And if you're not chastened, you're a bastard, not a son. So it's good that you're ch if you're chastened. Well, he sure did chasten me. Uh, I won't go all into it, but yeah, I got a, I got a whooping. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I had to fall deep into sin. I backslid about as far as a fella could go before I believe he was at the point to ready to kill me before I got right with God. But praise God, he didn't give up on me. Praise God that he, boy, he's going. Praise God that he saved my soul and kept me. He kept me in the cleft of the rock. Hallelujah to the Lamb. So if you've made an error, you've done something uh, that you're ashamed of, you confess it before the Lord and then move on. You don't confess it to any man. They'll hold you uh, in contempt. Man, uh, a lot of Christians, a lot of Christians, well, this guy did that, so, uh, you know, he he's just a castaway. I, uh, I, I don't agree with that. I believe that as Christ has forgiven, if the person sincerely repents, now, if they're not saved, and that goes on too, where a lot of uh, people that go to church, they might even pastor a church, and never really come to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then there's, they're under the curse, they're under, they're on their way to hell, they're an enemy of God. But if they've come to Christ, we should forgive them too. Uh, not that they're asking you for forgiveness, but you should. The Bible says that ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, because you might mess up too, buddy. Uh, a lot of self-righteousness goes on in the Church of Christ. Saved, born-again people uh, that love the Lord, but they'll judge you in a minute if you make a mistake so don't you confess it to man but confess it to the Lord and then repent of that uh, sin whatever it is Paul said that sin that so easily besets me so even the great Paul probably the greatest Christian that ever walked the planet earth uh, he had a sin that so easily beset him so we all sin, we all still do sin. We're just forgiven sinners. But anyway, there's forgiveness at the cross for each and every one of us. You can go back to your Lord and you confess your sin to Him and He will forgive you. Uh, not sure who this message is for, but the Lord sure did put it on my heart. So... Now, if you're the type that doesn't admit to sin and you're prideful and you think, well, I never do anything wrong. That's just what the Pharisee said. He said, I've kept the law since I was a child. I've uh, done everything that I'm supposed to do. And uh, thank God I'm not like that publican over there. And the publican wouldn't even come close to the Lord. He was standing afar off and bowed his head and said, Have mercy on me, a sinner. Jesus said, Who do you think walked away forgiven? He didn't come for the righteous. He came for sinners. 
Alright folks, you guys have a wonderful day. I uh, hope that uh, that might have helped somebody out there. But uh, continue to pray for uh, Carla Keck. Uh, she's dealing with her mother who has all Alzheimer's. Continue to pray for Joseph Dunn uh, and his blood pressure for his father uh, who has uh, see whatever that is with that lung condition uh, my dot my I should know what that is my sister died of that and I uh, continue to pray for Gypsy Lane and uh, her family she's dealing with her father uh, by herself and uh, she has uh, health problems herself that she's in a lot of pain so let's keep her in our prayers uh, if you have any prayer requests Please leave them in the comments. Uh, just a soldier, six, uh, 1611. I just love that kid. He's a young man, uh, born again Christian. Somehow in California, he has found the Lord and he has found the King James Bible and uh, he's serving God and trying his best. Let's keep him in our prayer request. He's trying to get money up to come live in the South, uh, which is wonderful, I think. So, anyway, if you have any prayer requests, leave them in the comments, and remember to read that Bible and pray without ceasing. There is forgiveness at the cross. Hallelujah to the Lamb.